Well, uh, I can report to you that uh, we still remain with our local disaster management group on alert, which is a precautionary space to be in, knowing full well what the situation is, knowing full well that we have a very wet catchment, and knowing full well that we have some quite severe storms that have been across this community in recent days. Uh, patchy, uh, which is probably saving us. If we were to have a big rainfall event right now, right across the catchment, I think you'd find that the majority of the water that would fall in that event would probably be, uh, be flooding the area. So uh, the situation that we face now is probably not all that different to what we faced in 2011, uh, given that they, we had a very wet catchment, we had uh, uh, water in the creeks, and the thing that we don't have now and that we don't want now is a very intensive fall of rain. So we are preparing to look after our community by being at that alert level. And uh, I know last night uh, my staff told me that we're in fact, we're doing the preliminary preparations for evacuation centres in Oakey and in John Deere, and if we needed those. We're very, very fortunate to have um, the work that's been done, done in our community around uh, flood mitigation. The detention basins in Toowoomba, the flood mapping that's been done right across our community, but particularly we're able to tell what the current situation would mean if there was a given rainfall event right across the catchment. We have that predictive stuff in place, which simply means that if uh, an event happens, uh, the LDMG and myself would all be informed of what the possible consequences of that could be. And we're in a far better place now than we've ever been in terms of all that sort of predictive work. Um, Milmer in particular last night got a fair <coughs> bit of rain. What was the flooding situation around there? Well, I heard about that, strangely. I, I live out there and uh, <laughs> I've had a fair few phone calls. But I did notice on Facebook it was uh, a very sharp event there, 77 millimetres of rain in a short period of time. And some of the footage that I saw on Facebook, uh, I certainly would never imagine that happened in, in my hometown of Milmerin. Uh, 20 k's away where my real home is, um, 6 mil of rain. Uh, that's the kind of uh, rainfall events we're getting now. There's, they're very concentrated, some of them are very intense and there's people who actually miss out. So uh, we've just got to face all those and I know that Mulmerin and many of the businesses in the main street were badly impacted by it and we, we must uh, get out there and talk to those people as soon as we possibly can and look for solutions. Um, we are looking at further rainfall um, overnight and tomorrow. Um, yeah, is there any other preventative measures you want to tell people about at well, this stage? Well, look, what I'm hearing about the, the potential rainfall in the next few days, they don't believe, the Weather Bureau don't believe it will be as intense as it has been in recent days. So that's a, that's a bit of comfort for us. But in saying that, no, we are prepared. We are prepared to do what we have to do to look after our people. And well, to again. if it rains, and of course, to th if it were to rain right across the catchments of the Condobine River, if it was to rain heavily in Warwick and all the down, down the Condobine, if it was to rain in some of the catchments that come this way towards Toowoomba, uh, we'd be facing a difficult situation. But we'll face that when it comes. Uh, we are better prepared to face the flood situation than we've ever been, thanks to the 2011 event. What would you say to drivers? <laughs> I would say to drivers to be very careful and if it's uh, flooded, uh, just don't go there. Uh, and we are seeing still in, in recent days, people that are getting their cars washed away. And uh, I know people have to get home in a hurry and all these sort of things, I know they don't think. But they really must remember that their life is at risk. That's the thing they must remember. And whoever's in the car with them, their life is at risk as well.